How do you how do you follow that? Jesus, thanks, guys. I, I, pre I appreciate that. Now let's hear from the suit from the publisher. Yeah, let's do this. Real fucking great. All right. Hey, everybody. Um, I'm Hector. Uh, I've met some of you over the past few years. Uh, haven't met all of you. You've probably seen me in the office, lost, trying to find the bathroom, or you know, trying to like do things at once. Um, I'm very honored. Thank you to Remedy for allowing me to say a couple words. I'm American, uh, and I'm also Latin, so I'm probably going to swear a bunch and get really emotional. Uh, <laughs> so forgive me on that part. I have learned a lot about Finnish culture over the last couple of years. I know that you all don't show your emotions. Uh, a lot, so this might be really weird if you see me break down or you know get really excited. So I'm sorry, um, but it's been um, this has been crazy. Uh, in 2013, I remember as a fan of Remedy watching Sam's video about you know letting the folks know that Alan Wake 2 wasn't happening, and I remember him saying a line that stuck in my head um, for a really long time, which was like you know sometimes things like money gets in the way. And uh, at that time, I was uh, working and publishing for Sony Santa Monica. And I had so much respect for somebody kind of like putting their emotions out there, putting their feelings about this business out there. Um, and I was like, wow, that dude's awesome. Remedy's awesome. I really hope one day somebody helps them make the game that they need to go. <laughs> Fast forward many years later. Um, I was working at a, at a publisher called Annapurna, and I got a call from Epic to, to come over and, uh, and help build, potentially, uh, a publishing division. And uh, I went to Epic, and you know, they were like, well, what, did, what should we do? And I said, well, I want to work with the best, uh, and I want to give them all the resources that they need to become the best versions of themselves. I said, that's the only way um, that I would come over here and do it. And Tim Sweeney was in the room, and he's like, yeah. Exactly, like that's not a novel concept. Like work with the best people and you know try to do your best. Uh, and he said, so come over here and do it. Uh, and as he was leaving the room, he turned around and he just said, just don't promise me you won't be a shitty publisher. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay all right. No other guidance other than don't be shitty. Uh, so that was November 2019. Um, walked back to my office, really, really happy. First person I emailed was Johannes. Was Johannes? Yeah, right there. I emailed him and I was like, hey man, I think this thing is really happening. Um, we should talk. And uh, we started chatting a little bit uh, in December, this is December of, of 2019. Um, I remember we were going to have a meeting and I said, oh, well, I have to go to China, but when I get back, let's, <laughs> let's chat. 2019, China. Just so put that together. <laughs> I came back, I was really sick. <laughs> I think I infected all of the United States uh, with patient zero at the time. But persevered and uh, we scheduled a meeting. And Sam and Johannes and Hoxu, Hoxu's here too, right? Yeah. Three, of, three of you. Came out to, to Raleigh, North Carolina and uh, sat in a room. Sam walked in, he had a Nick Cave t-shirt. I said, I fucking love this guy already. <laughs> he knows who Nick Cave is. Nobody is at the But <laughs> so I was very happy to be there. And sat through almost an hour pitch of, of Valen Week 2, right? And went through the entire thing. And you know, you have to be professional in those meetings when you're on the other side of the table. You can't fanboy out. You know, you're not to be like, oh, you know, I have questions. I don't know how you're going to do this. But like inside, I was like, this game is going to be fucking amazing if they do half of the things that, that they say they're going to do. This is going to be one of the best games of all time. And uh, Johannes and I, we just kept chatting. The next month, uh, we met in Las Vegas. You guys were up for a bunch of awards for Control. Uh, Control won. Thomas went on stage and gave a, a lovely speech, I remember, at that, at that moment, that Control was about taking control back as a right? Like controlling your own destiny, right? Like showing everybody what you could achieve together. And the guys know. I listen to the universe a lot, sometimes too much, uh, but it was just uh, it was an impactful moment, and it, it just reiterated that we had to make this partnership happen. Uh, and so I pushed Epic to give Remedy everything that they wanted, much of the chagrin of my finance team uh, <laughs> and everyone else. But I thought it was really important, and we announced Epic Games Publishing, um, I think a year later, 
right? Or no, but a couple months later, with um, Remedy as one of our initial partners, um, Playdead, our friends Playdead in, um, in Denmark, and Gen Design, uh, led by Uwe Desan. Uh, and it was a dream for me. It's my three favorite developers that I had ever worked with. I had you know, grown up idolizing, and we were able to, to, to put it together. And since then, it's been awesome. Uh, it's been bumpy, uh, obviously. <laughs> um, I'm sure it has been on the inside. But all along, I just remember those two things. Work with the best, give them everything that they need to become the best versions of themselves, and don't be shitty. Those were the, initial, <laughs> those were the original pillars of, of what we were going to do. And uh, look at, I mean, you saw that video, right? Like, we ended up where we thought we were going to be, which was part of making the best game of this generation and maybe future generation. Um, you all should be so proud. You helped me uh, look really good at Evan. <laughs> Just so you know. But in the entirety of this entire process, I had literally the easiest job. All I had to do was spend somebody else's money <laughs> and believe in you. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. So, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for, for, for being cool. Uh, thank you for not laughing at having Alan Wake in Fortnite and thinking that that was really weird. Uh, I still think it's weird, but I'm glad we were able to, to put it in there. Um, everything's just been amazing, man, and it culminated with the time that we got to spend together in, in Los Angeles last week with Poets of the Fall and Sam and Oka and Matthew and David dancing on stage and fireworks and everyone looked. I think Johannes, it was a great moment. He looked at me and was like, what have you done? <laughs> If we didn't do it there, where were we going to do it, right? Um, but it was a great year. <laughs> I don't know if the fire code would have, uh, would have done that. But um, I just want to say thank you like from Epic side, everybody from Tim Sweeney down to, to everybody else is uh, super happy about the performance of the game. Um, it really validates that partnering with Epic um, is a good thing for developers. Um, and uh, if I could leave you with one thing, I just want to spend uh, send a special super duper shout out to the QA group here at yeah. and the people who have risen to positions in their industry who came from QA. Um, there's a lot of us were there. Me too. Right? So shout out to myself. <laughs> QA is the backbone of game development, right? Like, in QA, you learn about the interdependencies of systems, you learn about the interdependencies of people, and you really get to see everything that's in place. So if you're next to a QA person, tell them thank you, and know that they're probably going to be running this company in fucking 10 years. All right? <laughs> yeah. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for, for this. Yeah. And, uh, yeah.